If you've used any photo editing software, you're probably familiar with how layers work. But in Unity, you can't usually apply textures and layers on your 3D game object. In this video, we are going to create a shader graph that lets you combine two textures and then you can use it in a material and apply it to a 3D game object. We have our scene set up with a cat model. Let's start by creating a new material and applying it to the cat body. We can change its color and you can see the change being reflected in the game object. We have two textures available. First is this pink one that is supposed to act as the skin color of the cat. The second texture is a pattern that is supposed to be overlaid on the cat. The black part of this texture is alpha. We need to fix this in the texture settings. Let's do that. Check the alpha is transparency box and click apply. Next, let's create an unlit shader graph. Right click in the assets panel, go to the shader graph and then choose the unlit shader graph. Let's give it a name and double click to open the shader graph window. We are working with textures here. So we start by creating texture nodes. We call them base and layer one. Next, drag them into the graph window and add them as input in sample texture 2D nodes. After that, import a blend node and use the base layer as base and layer 1 as blend input respectively. Use the alpha channel of layer 1 as alpha here. This ensures that the transparency of layer 1 is used while blending the textures. Finally, Connect the output to base color and click on save asset. Go back to the scene and right now the changes aren't being reflected. We need to update the shader in our material for the current changes to be reflected. Let's do that. Select the material and in the shader choose the one we just made. We add in the base and layer 1 textures but as you can see they aren't blending right. This is because of the blend type option in our blend node in the shader. Let's go back and fix that. For mode, choose override. This ensures that layer 1 simply overrides the base layer. Save and go back. As you can see, the pattern appears correctly on the cat. That's it for this video. If this helps you out, consider subscribing. We are trying to get to 3000 subs. And we'll see you next time.